indices and starting with the DAX here on the daily chart. As you know, we've been working through this triangle pattern from wave three here as an A and a B and a C and a D and an E wave here for wave four. It is possible, um, as we explained as I explained last time, that it's possible to have a wave four sitting on this low here when we line up some of the other indices in the euro in the eurozone. But um, we just need to tread with caution, and we're looking at uh, this move up through here. We're looking at uh, this move up here. I was looking at it in three waves to the upside as an ABC for the A wave. But because it's moved up quite strongly, then it would... Because basically the way that it works is that um, wave A can be in three waves or five waves. Okay, so B wave's always in three waves. And um, the C wave here uh, is in uh, five waves as well. But because... I'll go to the four hour chart <coughs> because it moved up quite strongly here and I had it labeled as an A and a B and a C um, but because it's moved up quite strongly here it's because normally when you get an ABC correction there's a relationship of equality between wave A and wave C so the equality is burst out it's broken here so um, it's highly and also too the normally when you can pick a third wave too is when the top of the trend channel in the structure here is taken out, it indicates the third wave uh, at that point. So um, it's likely now that we need to label for the A wave up here, we're looking for five waves up here. And this would relate back to the other indices as well in the Eurozone as well. So with that in mind, um, what I've done here on the hourly chart here, it will count still the same. Um, but I've just labeled a little bit different. So we can have wave A or wave one here, wave two or wave B. So, um, and then if it's wave B, for instance, then we'll get five waves up of this degree here for wave C of the A wave here. So I won't rule it out just yet, but it's probably not the case. We're just changing over now. So it will be wave one and two here and wave three here, wave four and wave five for the A wave. So an, ex an extra leg in here for that. Um, the idea was that we knew that the 500 would create resistance and it was also the 50, 60% retracement level. So we can expect this zone here to pretty much hold the mark, this zone and this number, to hold the market. There will be pushes pushes up and pushes down, but it's pretty much where it is at this point. So going from wave two here to wave three here, we're counting five waves of one and two here. And then from this two to wave three here, four and five. In the third wave here, we're of blue here, one and two, and we've got three in place already. Four, the drop on the open here for the global markets opening at New Zealand time here or, or um, Sydney time uh, here um, and then five here, three here, four and five. So that's pretty much the pattern and that's pretty much the pattern we'll be looking at with the other markets as well. So moving over to the Netherlands here, the same point here too, it's possible that wave four can be in play here but also we need to map this out in terms of the triangle pattern for the um, DAX as well. So with this little move through here, <clears throat> we know that the 550 here, five being the second strongest number, we know that it was support here and now it's tested it as resistance here. The little move up here is not quite finished just yet. I'll just go to the hourly chart rather than the four hour chart. So picking it um, up off the low here, uh, in terms of um, the move to the upside here. So wave one or A, two or B here, and then one and two here, one and two and three and four. It's dropped on, oops, Daisy, I meant to move that, but it's in copy mode. So um, we can see that that's opened here. So that's fine. Um, still that wave four there and looking up for wave five uh, and so on through that little structure here. So this wave three here can be wave C of A, or we'll be going up to this space here. Because the DAX is going to be dancing um, across that 500 level and at the 61.8, it's going to sort of hold these markets into this space as well with its five number here as well. So moving over to the FTSE, 
here. Um, I've got a different count for this, but um, wave 4 here with wave 1 here, ABC for wave 2. Um, but I'll introduce the triangle pattern here as the wave C, D and E here. Um, in the same same as the DAX, um, but uh, we could all we'll see we'll see how we go with this. We'll just keep going. But our main journey here is that once again we've got these this market pushing up here to resistance, the same as the DAX and the. the uh, AEX so it's going to be dancing um, at this 7500 as well here so just on maybe I can just cut through to the hourly chart here so looking at this I've changed this to more positive count to the upside so wave one and two here we're long here I've moved the stop up a little bit here I just want to get up higher here first and um, yeah, look the same count. So little one and two and three and four and five, four, three, and then back for four and up for five, then back for four and then up for five. So a target to the upside will be 7650 on this number here. And moving over to the MIB as well here, Italy. Um, just on this is the daily chart here. In this case here, I've got wave four here. Maybe there's a triangle pattern here and we need to consider this wave D over here in line with the other markets as well. This little move up through here, it hasn't been that clear for me. So I've got two counts going to the upside as you know, and they are both positive. Um, and of course, um, the situation here is that um, this is of this, this block here, um, this block here is going to cause resistance over here. It's just as simple as that. That uh, markets have memories, just the same as even muscle in your body's got memory. So muscle memory. So it it, it th there's orders sitting here. They need to be played out here. There, this is the re this is the resistance here. So in this move to the upside here, we can look at it in a couple of different ways. We can look at it this way, which is pretty similar to the um, other markets we just looked at with wave one here and wave two here, wave one and two here. And then the third wave moving up through here. And this little drop back here on the on the uh, Asian Open here, we'll still see another move to the, to the upside that should pick itself up and move up into this space uh, here. And um, yeah, we don't need that stop down there. Where have we got the stop on the hourly chart? I'll just double check. Okay, under just above there. So I'll just go back to that four hour chart for a moment. Grab this little guy here and we're in here somewhere. Let's just get it to break even there. I'll just save that. And back to the hourly chart to just look at a bit of detail here. So um, I've got this still the old count here with one and two and three and four and moving up for five here. Okay, so um, as you may know that we'll push that up to there. So that can be five waves up there. And in that case, then we would need to look at the low here and the five wave high here, if I take it into this space here. So then we could see a move back down from this, this area through back into this to the 61.8% mark. I don't know if that's the case. In fact, I don't think it's the case. Um, but I just need to keep mentioning it for a little while. Um, but I think that will take the, the, the same count as the other other European markets, um, but we're mindful uh, of this one here. So um, yeah, I will adjust this once this top comes into place, and, and I'll adjust. I just want to leave it here for the time being. But look, we're on track here. This wave four here with wave one and two here, and then five waves up for wave three and four and five here for this for this um, top here. Um, and then what would happen after that would see. Um, uh, wave four coming back into this space here and then up from that point but I'll detail that out a little bit um, we're going to leave the stop here um, while these corrections occur uh, here for for this so you should have taken part profit here at this um, 21,500 because we will see more of a dance across here and we'll just keep our stop at we don't want to be stopped out just yet we need we need a change 
would need a change in the other European markets for us to, to move out of this particular um, space here. So I'm just using the trend line on the top here because it will give us some perspective on, on lows here as well. Um, all right, um, that's it. So in just recapping this one here, um, uh, we've taken part profit here. We'll certainly look to get back into this market, but on this way, on this pullback here. And that means that on this one here, um, yeah, so we'll look to get back in. Once this top comes into play here, we've got some sort of ABC correction coming in here. This area here will become the place and through here as well. So we'll build in over this side over here again as well and we'll take some more profit at the 22,000 here. Alrighty, just a short video just to um, tune things in and uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.